Check, 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 check. Is this thing working? Check, check, check. Is this working? Hola, senores and senoritas. My name is Chris Shiplett, and I am going to be taking over Americana Fest's Instagram live stream here for the next who the heck knows how long. So thank you, Americana Fest, for letting me do this today. It's going to be fun. Now, here, let me put this over here. I've got some complaints about some of these live streams I've been doing uh, that you can't see my hands playing the guitar. So I'm gonna put this in that. I hope that doesn't make anybody seasick or whatever. Cause then I got some other complaints that this doesn't look good either when it's in the horizontal as opposed to the vertical. But I figure, I don't know, it's a better view. I'm here at Walk on the Floor World Headquarters, which is also my little studio jam room. And uh, I'm gonna play some songs. got some new technology down here I'm going to try to incorporate into this, so bear with me. certain things and normally I'm just like sitting on a couch or something you know just uh, in my other room over there but I just felt like I think you kind of play different when you're standing up like I don't know feels more like a gig I plugged into this um, this little fisherman acoustic amp over here I don't know if you can see that got this little where is it where the heck is it this little fisherman acoustic amp 
So I got that going, but then I'm uh, not singing on the mic. So let me know if the levels are good. I'll try to look at the comments, not get too confused by them. Uh, let me know if you can hear the vocal and the guitar and uh, sounds, uh, everything's in balance. Hope so. All right, there's another song uh, off that same record. This one's called Sticks and Stones. Throw your battle, sticks and stones. Temper is cruel. But baby, where does that leave you? Hanging on you like a noose. Keep my finger on the truth. So make any threat you want. What can you take that you ain't got? Call your lawyer, call the cops. since this lockdown thing started. A couple things I've noticed. First off, uh, for all of us uh, narcissistic, egomaniacal musician people, this is like a real, this is gonna be, it's, it's gonna be a real like uh, 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 strengthening exercise because there's no applause. <laughs> you finish your song and it's just like an empty, like empty club, there's no sound man, there's no security guard, there's no, nobody is at the club. Nobody applauses, applauds. Uh, which is good. I think it's good. It's a good thing. It'll make you, uh, I don't know. It's bound, to, it's bound to have some weird effect on us all. You know, maybe we just won't need uh, our egos to be uh, rubbed as much. But um, I added in, you know, the thing about doing these acoustic shows for me is I'm not like a finger style whiz. So I, uh, I always get kind of uh, sad because I can't play a lot of like guitar solos and things like that. Um, so I added this little looper pedal thing and I put some backing tracks on it and I totally screwed that up on that last song. I don't know if you noticed that. I was trying to play the lead and I do know how it goes, but it's like I'm pressing pedals and I'm doing stuff and uh, I guess it's a learning curve, but 
I think in the long run it might make it a little more sonically interesting. So look, I can just play with no hands. Look at that. It's magic, people. That's called backing tracks. Because um, I'm cheating. So that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to do, do another song and then I'm going to see about... Um, I asked a, a, a special guest if, uh, if uh, a special guest will jump in here with me. So I don't know if he's watching right now. I'll have to look, I'll have to read the uh, comments there and see if I can uh, bring that person in. But I'll play one more song and then I'm going to do that. So this is a song off my last record. It's called Liar's Word. Oh, mama, have you heard? I'm about as good as a liar's word. get a special guest in here let's see let's see oh i see him there hold on come back where'd it go there it is as you can see here in los angeles today it is a beautiful beautiful sunny day out there yo there we are yes sir all the way from music city it's mr I'm right here Sadler maiden well, what do you got there? That's good that you have those, because I'm, I'm going to actually, I'm going to ask you about that. Um, how are you, Sadler? I'm good, man. I'm hanging in there. You sound good. Oh, thank you. You sound um, good in there. <laughs> thank you. Um, can you hear everything? I can't tell. It's weird. Like, I don't know if I should sing it, put a, put a mic up, turn the PA on. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it sounds great. You got a I looper? Kinda, you got a loop uh, machine? I got the looper, yeah. Yeah, I got nice. the looper. I got the little... Nice. Uh, the, the little uh, extra pedal thing so I can switch between them so I can do it hands-free, hands-free looping. Very cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an old dog, but I'm going to learn some new tricks, Sadler. I'm going to learn some <laughs> new tricks. Dude, you're going to be, look, 
this is uh, the third week in a row we've spoken, and I feel like you're you're better at technology just than the last <laughs> in the last 28 days. I mean, look at look at that, man. We never met before until about two weeks ago online uh, in an interview, and now you can't shake me. I'm on you like a cheap suit. Stop <laughs> for, for people watching that, that aren't aware, you are this week's current guest on America's favorite podcast, Walking the Floor. That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, the number one podcast in America. That's Walking right. The floor. It's the number one podcast on Americana music that I do from the west side of Los Angeles. Number That's one. That's right. That's number right. One. That's for number one. Yeah. And, and I don't know if uh, for people who haven't listened to said interview, you were kind enough. I, we did a whole interview and then I blew it and didn't record it. And then you were nice enough to sit down and do it again. So I thank you for that, sir. Yeah, you're welcome, man. I tell I, you know, I was thinking we kind of covered this in the interview a little bit, but I was thinking um, just to spice things up because I'm I'm sure the people watching would would love a, a quick guitar lesson from you because you're a ripper. Yeah. What's there like? Why don't you show us? You know, I mean, you can do it fast or slow or whatever. You know, explain to the people <laughs> what's your go-to like. Let's say you're on stage with 400 unit and you guys are just jamming and and. Isabel's just going, willy, 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 and he's just pulling out all this, but look at this, Almond Brothers, and it's Don Rich, and it's Jimmy Hendrix, it's all this stuff, and you're like, I got to smoke his ass. What's the lick that you pull out to win? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, if we're in G or something like that, I mean, I would probably, I'd probably go. You know, I'd probably do something like that. Okay, run that one slow so that, I can, <laughs> so that I can go back and watch it over and over and over again. Or I do, do find, something do like it. Do you find that it's hard to run your fast leg slow? Because you're like, well, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just do yeah, it. Yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, exactly. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, or I would go like, you know, you know I'd do something, I'd do something weird, open stringy. Um, so with that, with that though, if there's any guitar players watching out of G, you know, if you're just if you're out of G right there, yeah, and yeah. you go kind of, if you're playing like a blues, playing like a blues major minor pentatonic, yes, well, sir. I just I just kind of float off the strings and just kind of do a bunch of pull offs in the open strings, and then just kind of run down into your G G chord. You got this. Oh, you can okay. do this. Oh man! Oh, I know that lip. Yeah, I totally know. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you're in, but if you're in a E minor, you can kind of, you know, you can kind of do do that too. But yes. you know, I don't know. I would just try to do something wild. I mean, we get um, in the heat of battle up there. Uh, you know, it's it's sort of like. What? Yeah, your brain is just, you know, you're in front of people and you're just going for it. So I I, I don't really have a go-to lick because, um, you know, he's going to, I'm going to say something to him and he's going to come back with something. I'm going to have to process that information like really fast on right. the stage. Um, but, You've uh, got your lick to win, but he's got his lick to win too. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you, right. you know, I'll play something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right. <laughs> nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm gonna let you get back to your um to your mm -hmm. quarantine and um stay safe. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got some important shit I'm doing right now, so uh, I'm gonna get back to it. <laughs> hey. Y'all check out our episode. I had a great conversation with Chris. He's the man. Exactly. Thank you, Chris. Hope to yeah, see thank you soon, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll cross paths on the road when this whole thing's over. Yeah, man. All, All right, right. Take buddy. care, y'all. Take care. See you, man. Thanks. Bye, bye. Oh yeah. This week's special special guest and current guest on Walking the Floor podcast. So go over there and check that out. All right, I'm gonna drop this thing into drop D. Now back in the uh, roaring 90s, uh, the go-go 90s, 
before I was in Foo Fighters, I was in a band called uh, No Use for a Name. That was uh, it was a punk rock band from from like uh, Sunnyvale, Mountain View, San Jose area out here in California. And that was like the first band I ever joined that um, that made records and went on tour. And actually had like you know a draw. Came to the shows and, and, uh, and uh, you know it was like a it was like a real thing. And it was uh, basically my introduction into the world of like band tours and that sort of thing, punk rock shows in other places. But I'll tell you something interesting. Tony Sly, who was the the lead singer in that band, um, who passed away a few years ago, uh, but he was the guy that that turned me on to, in a big way, to, um, to like, alt-country of that era. You know, it's like the mid-90s, so you're talking about, like, this right after Uncle Tupelo broke up and, you know, became Wilco and Sunbolt and, like, Whiskey Town was around and old 97s, like, all those bands were, were happening. And, I mean, I, I, I had, like, a Johnny Cash record or something. I had a Patsy Cline record, but I didn't really know uh, all that much about, about country music. And those bands, you know, none of them were like straight up country music, but they drew from that. And, um, and that was really kind of what led me down, um, led me down that path, you know, because I listened to like those Sun Bolt records and I'd hear the pedal steel and I'd be like, whoa, what is that? You know, what, what, uh, what are those guys into? You know, I want to listen to what those guys listen to. Um, so I credit Tony Sly with that. I wish he was here today to, uh, still make music with, but um, like I said, he passed away a few years ago, so rest in peace. So I wrote this song about band tours in the, in the mid 90s. It's called Good Night Little Rock.
played this song in over 20 years or so. So, cut me some slack. There might be some extra chords in this one, if you know what I'm saying. All right, I'm going to play a song. Uh, let's see here. Let me get it set up. All right, I'm going to play a song by my old band, No Use for a Name, that Tony Sly wrote. It's called So Many. Some stupid line up Set by some punk ass on the street Was it me? Was it you? Was it anybody you knew? Is it your old friend in security? And what could be Same old argument, black and white. It's something that's eating you inside. It's not the food, it's not the food. It isn't anything concerned. It's you. Becoming a friend of you can't hide. And all those times you thought that you were. Thank you. 
damn. God, I haven't heard that or haven't played that song in, I don't even know, since 1999, I guess. It's been a while. I gotta learn those lyrics. All right, let's, uh, let's take some questions, see what's going on out there in live stream land. Let's see. Hi, Chris. Maybe it's possible that you play a dick song. Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Helsinki, please. Ooh, I got to learn that one for sure. Uh, what band or musician is it your wish to play with someday? Oh, God, there's so many. So many people. Um, what band would I want to play with at some point? God, I don't know if I could go back in time and play an Elvis's band or something. Or maybe be play with the the Clash or something. I don't know. Uh, who's out there? I'd love to sit in with just about anybody. I like sitting in with people. Because when you're the guy sitting in, it's there's no pressure. You just get up there and you can just wing it. And it's their set. And it's their song. And you're just kind of like, hey, man, I'm the special guest. I'm just going to wing it. So if you do, you know, if you blow it, and you play the wrong thing, who cares? You're the special guest. You're just sitting in, you're just jamming. All right, feel free to send uh, any questions. I can't really read these little, these little comments because they're going by sideways. So I think there's a way, I think, I don't know how, I, I don't have, a, to be honest, watched anybody else's live stream really. So I don't know how you send people questions, but I know that you can't because I just read some. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play another song off my last record here. Let's see. Who are all these people? So all these people have sent requests, but they haven't. Ooh, this one is not requested, but I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to hold tight here. I just sent out to a special guest that can show us some crazy guitar licks. If said special guest picks up, their phone calling you. Come on now. Waiting, waiting. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. She might be chicken. Join in on the live stream. But we'll see. Let's give it a minute. I don't know if there's like a lag time. special guest for now but if you saw this and you chickened out you know okay I just canceled that special guest but that was an unplanned special guest I just looked in the thing and I could see that this person was watching and I sent the request and no reply all right I'm gonna play a song off my last record that I wrote about my teenage well I have uh, several teenage children but my oldest son who's now 16 and um I told the story a lot when I was touring about how I wrote the song about when, when he had his first girlfriend, like first like romantic, you know, situation in, in middle school. He's older now. Um, but really, like I should rework this about how when your 16 year old is uh, stuck in your house with you for weeks and weeks on end with no end in sight, it drives them crazy. My kids are losing it because of this guy because of helpful hints from father. Here's how you could be more productive, kids. Here's another daily suggestion. Hey, let's all go make our beds in this great um, Anyway, this song is called Welcome to Your First Heartache. Let's see.
and let me tell some that it gets so much better just part of growing up so welcome to your pursuit welcome to your pursuit oh, now chase you like an earthquake welcome to your welcome to time to end the live stream. I'm going to play one more song. Mm. So once again, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to the nice folks at, um, at uh, Americana Fest and the Americana Association. Jet Haley, I'm talking to you, pal, um, for letting me jump in here and take over their Instagram live for a little while. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> If you're bored on Thursday, I'm going to do another one of these through Vox, through Vox amps. And that one's going to probably be electric because it's Vox. I can't play an acoustic for that. So I'll probably just be, you know, I don't know, grab a Vox and plug it in and, and uh, maybe play with some effect pedals or something like that. That would be fun. But anywho, thank you, thank you, thank you for, uh, for tuning in today. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are all safe out there. Um, it's so weird, such a weird time. Weird, weird, weird time to be alive. But... Uh, but uh, I feel like this whole thing has brought out a lot of the good in people. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've like been texting and calling and, and sort of reconnecting with a whole lot of people out there. And I've uh, spent a lot of quality time with my family, much to their chagrin. Um, but yeah, it's not all bad. There's some good in there too. Uh, all right, thank you very much. Chris Shiflett, over and out. This song is called West Coast Town. <laughs>
Yeah, I grew up in a West Coast town back before they chased the working class out. You know we don't fuck around where I grew up. Yeah, I grew up in a West Coast town back before they chased the working class out. You know we don't fuck around where I grew up. In a West Coast town. Thank you for tuning in. That's it for today.